Hey guys, two new uh, hatchet restorations, or at least uh, partial restorations. These uh, are a couple of neat, neat hatchets that I picked up. And uh, we'll start with this one first. This one is really neat. You're talking 18 inch handle. And the head on this thing is uh, actually two plus pounds. I don't have a scale to exactly weigh it, but it is more than two pounds. So this thing is like a boy's axe on a hatchet handle. Very, very effective. I took this thing in the back and this thing was just lighting up the kindling pile. Just really good performer. Really happy with it. Um, you know, I'm not a professional axe restorer, nor do I really, like, expect them to be perfect or look perfect. Because I'm really restoring these to use more than anything. And uh, this one here I decided to do something a little different. And what I did was I ground this down to uh, shiny metal because uh, it actually had a really hard, like, black, rusty scale on it. So what I did was I ground it down to shiny metal, and then I forced a patina with mustard. And as you can see, the white marks where I wiped the mustard on, you can see it left some uh, kind of interesting designs there in it. And you can even see a little bit of the uh, Hammond line there. Interesting enough, there's a lot of good steel on this hatchet and it's actually barely used as you can see the pole is uh just really straight lines really good this thing looked like it had been barely touched now i thought it looked good all nice and shiny and mind you this is a no-name hatchet too this has no name brand at all but you know when i was uh you know when i had it all nice and shiny it just you know old hatchets just don't look good shiny so i dirtied it up threw some vinegar and mustard on this thing and let it uh, patina over a couple of days and hung it on a handle. And what did I do with the handle? But, you know, before I put the linseed oil on, I left the handle a little dirty, so I kind of sealed in some dirt and grime. That'll probably affect the life of the handle, but I think it gives it a good working tool look to it. You know, I think when you get these handles that are perfect on a vintage tool, they just look awkward. And, uh... You know, and this one was a tough hang, guys. This one, um, because this isn't really meant for a uh, a hatchet handle. It's really kind of more of a boy's axe or a house axe. It was tough hanging this sucker, so I left it a little more proud than I usually would. That way, if I do have to uh, make some adjustments on it later on, I can do that without uh, coming up short on the handle. But you can see, I left it kind of dirty, grimy, nasty. But man, this thing kills it in the wood pile so love it this other one this other little baby is a uh, broad hatchet a little over two pounds as well and i put this on a uh, 16 inch handle and this one i think turned out really nice as well and of course i left it a little dirty again you know i think they look nicer like that they look a little more authentic now this one here was very dirty. It was just sheer black, so I soaked it in vinegar and uh, hit it with a wire brush, and this is how it came out. And kind of like the look. It's got that used look to it, the old look, but not, uh, you know, rusty enough where I got to worry about it rusting away. It's just got that uh, nice patina, and it is really neat to compare a forced patina versus a real patina right there. They're actually, you know, pretty close, except for the uh, the darker spots. You know, it's actually. Uh, very similar color, so really neat. This sucker is a uh, broad hatch, so of course it's got the uh, wedge tip. And there was a pin in the original, but I'm not putting one in here. Has a really nice back hammer pole, really straight. Looks like it's hardly been used. That nice wedge grind to it. This one hasn't been sharpened yet. I'm gonna sharpen this up pretty soon. This Once again, this is a tough hang because of the shape of the eye is not perfect with these modern hatchet handles so it really did take a uh, a bit of an effort to hang this one as well plus you know I'm just not the best at it and with these uh, uh, I think they're called lugs or ears or whatever they're called you have to kind of carve those into the handle so it makes it really difficult to hang these puppies so but it's on there it's on there rock solid I smacked this against the uh, cottonwood tree in the back for about five minutes and it didn't move a bit so it's on solid that's kind of my test is you know bring it back smack the cottonwood tree about five minutes and if the handle is uh loose or moved then you got to redo it so i think it's on there pretty good but this isn't a uh 
felling axe. This is something you use for hewing or or cutting notches. So I thought it was really cool. It has a really nice look to it. And it's going to be a really useful tool as well. And of course the handle again is just done with some boiled linseed oil. So there you go. Two very nice hatchets. Altogether the cost on these... I think I have maybe $25 in the two of them, in the heads and materials and all that. And they have a nice, you know, vintage look to them still, which I really like. You know, I do like that vintage look, and I think they look like they've been used. They look like they got a history, and they're going to have a uh, long life here on the homestead being used and enjoyed, and hopefully enjoyed by uh, my next generation.